Are you interested in crewing on the William C. Daldy? Just like the great steam ocean liners of many years ago, the William C. Daldy has three different crewing departments. These being deck, engineering and catering. Deck crew are responsible for the safe navigation and operation of the ship. Catering staff are responsible for the safety and comfort of the passengers. Again, no particular qualifications are required and on-the-job training is given by the society. Good people skills are a must. While deck and catering jobs on the Daldy differ little from the same jobs on a modern passenger ship, duties in the engineering department have many unique aspects to them. Engineering tasks that disappeared from commercial shipping decades ago still have to be done by our engineers and stokers. For example, our stokers need to empty out boiler ash, light up boilers at least 48 hours before a cruise, hand fire boilers during cruising, Stokers on the Daldy do not require any special qualifications and on-the-job training is given. However, it cannot be regarded as an unskilled job as it takes a while to train a stoker in the techniques of hand-firing the boilers. Great physique and strength is not required, however a reasonable level of fitness is. And our engineers need to oil all the ship's engines and auxiliaries by hand. In addition, they also have to oil and grease any steam-powered deck machinery. Operation of the steam power plant is more complex than a diesel engine, and the operating of the engines and auxiliaries is all done manually, with not a push-button or computer in sight. This makes the job more challenging, but also far more exciting and fulfilling than its modern equivalent. On-the-job training is given. Formal qualifications and experience are not required for positions other than Chief Engineer. However, aptitude for things mechanical and technical is a big help. If you are interested in any of these crewing positions, contact the Society and ask to be put in touch with the appropriate Head of Department.